stand for me. Mm. Let me call your attention to the subject, follow the star. Follow the star. There's a lot of information in the word of God about who Jesus is. In fact, in relation to his origin, there's a lot of information concerning him. But as far as the birth narratives are concerned, the birth narratives are only two. You find Matthew and you find Luke. And both of them give a more detailed account of the birth and the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But now, in looking at those two, only one of those narratives talk about a star. Only one of them, and that's Matthew's account, mentions the star. Now the presence of the star, I believe, is really important. And the reason I say that it is important is because it was the star that led those who followed it to a life-changing encounter. Now I don't know about you, but I could use a life-changing encounter. Amen. Amen. You know, I, I can think of things about where I have been. And I, I thank God that uh, he has worked in my life to help me to have situations that has caused me to change. And there might be somebody here today that may be in a situation where you know that you should change and that you could use a life-changing encounter. And sometimes it's hard to know how to find the ability and the power to make those changes. But one of the things that I want to advocate to you today, I really want you to focus on following the star. And the reason I say that you need to follow the star is because, you see, stars in this text, in fact, uh, stars in relation to the Magi that follow, this star represented the hope of escape. That's what it did. Uh, it, it, it was a vision of freedom uh, in their minds. And so they began to follow this star because they, they recognized that things were getting ready to change. And, and they knew in following the star, they would find someone that would be able to help them make the change. I don't know about you, but if you want to change in life, you got to have enough willingness to get up and chase after your change. Amen. You need to be able to get up and move toward where you know change is going to be found so that things can become different. It's one thing to want change and then continue to just sit down and sit down and sit down and think things are going to change. No, it's not going to change until you get up and do something about it. And so these individuals, these magi, they recognized that the star represented a life-changing situation. And so therefore, these individuals began to follow the star. Now, as we look at the star, one of the things I want you to understand about these men that followed the star is that they didn't follow any star. They followed the right star. They followed the right star. You see, not everyone, y'all listen to what I'm saying here, not everyone is wise enough to follow the right star. Amen. We live in an age where individuals are always looking for any star. And they're trying to follow any star. Amen. You got individuals who are trying to follow Beyonce. And they're trying to follow Rihanna. And they're trying to follow Drake. And they're too busy with their cell phone. And they need to sit there. Anybody is sitting there doing everything else but trying to find the right stars. But the thing I want you to understand about these men. These men weren't worried about what the stars that the enemy was trying to get us to pay attention to. See, I want you to know that the enemy wants you to follow counterfeit stars. Counterfeit stars are stars that are made by culture rather than stars that are made by Christ. I'm talking about those following stars that's based off of their creativity rather than based off of being in uh, and following and being
being made by the creator. We need to learn that the enemy wants us to be enamored by them. And a lot of times we begin to look up to them. Young people begin to look up and try to imitate them in order to try to find hope. They'll find, find a star basketball player or a star football player. And a lot of our young men think that that's what being a star and being successful is all about. And sometimes our young girls are looking at a star actress or a star this and that and a lot of times they're not finding the success in life because they're following the wrong stars. Following the wrong stars. But one thing about these men, these men didn't care what entertainment news, TMZ, and Gossip Girl had to say. They weren't worried about that. They were intelligent enough to find the right star. Amen. In fact, touch somebody and say, find the right star. Find the right star. Don't take your time. Don't take your time. Don't waste your time looking after the wrong stars. Because I'm telling you, following the wrong stars won't get you anywhere. And, and I'm going to tell you why they followed the right stars. I believe that they followed the right stars because they were intelligent individuals. They, they were very intellectual. See, if you were to look at the Magi, individuals say that the Magi came from the East. Individuals seem to believe that they tend to be uh, probably of Persian origin. And uh, some even said that they may have been connected with Zoroastrianism, which was a, a religion that, that uh, worshiped and honored one God. And, and so uh, another thing that we know about Magi is Magi, these were scholarly individuals. They were always delving into the sciences. And they were skilled in astronomy. They were skilled in astrology and the sciences. And they understood about agriculture and mathematics and, and history and all of those particular Particular things. I think a lot of times our young people find themselves looking after the wrong stars is because a lot of times we're too busy looking at what the uh, internet has to say about entertainment rather than looking at what the book says about school and education. Amen. But these individuals, they were delving into the right information and because of delving into the right information, they ended up having the right direction. A lot of us will find ourselves having youth that go to wrong direction simply because they're not taking time to listen to the correct information that will help them to have a better uh, a better 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 level in life and a better outlook on life and a better direction in life but because of their education these men have become very powerful advisors in the Babylonian and the medio Persian uh, Empire individuals listen to what they say and how they, they would be paid attention to. And, and you know, and in fact, in the, in the Middle Kings, in the Middle Ages, these individuals that I'm talking about, the Magi, uh, individuals began to uh, narrow them down. See, the Bible doesn't say how many there were. The Bible just says that there were wise men that came from the East. But what happened is in the Middle Ages, individuals began to narrow them down, and they said, well, three. And so they came up with Casper, they came up with Balthazar, and they came up with Melchior. They named them. And, and, and the reason that you see a white man, a black, a black man, and a brown man it is because what happened is they narrowed them down to descendants of the three sons of Ham, which represents all humanity. And so therefore, since they represent all of humanity, you know, everybody is going to bow at the feet of Jesus. Every tongue is going to confess. And so therefore, all men, I don't care if you're black, you're white, you're yellow, or you're green, you're going to confess the name of Jesus Christ. And so therefore, for all of these kings were brought at the feet of Jesus Christ. Now, one of the things that I want you to notice is they followed the right star. They followed the right star because God wanted them to. Now, I'm going to tell you what God did. God chose only one star to guide these men to the Savior. Now, now there's a lot of bright stars. Amen. You, you have the Polaris, which is the night North Star. You have the Sirius. You have the, the Regal. You have all of these other stars that are out there. But, but instead of following the wrong star, they found the right star that would lead them to the bright in the morning star. And, and I'm going to tell you what it is. is That star, in order for them to find that star, it had to be bright enough. It had to be bright enough in order to attract 
these wise men. Now I believe the reason that this one, they followed the right one, is because it was the brightest of them all. And the reason that it was the brightest of them all is because it was closest to the sun. Now I don't know if y'all got that, because I'm not talking about the SUE. I'm not talking about the SUE. It was closest to the SON. It was closest to the Son of God. And you know what I tell you what? If any of you have been uh, become a disciple of the Lord and a child of God, you've been starstruck by somebody who know Jesus. You've been starstruck by somebody who got close to the S-O-N. And because of that, that's why you are a child of God. You got to learn how to get close to the sun. And then, you know what? You ought to praise God that God put somebody in your life that helps you to get on the right track. You ought to thank God that you had somebody that was close enough to the S-O-N. It might have been a father. It might have been a mother. It might have been a cousin or a brother or a sister. I don't know who it was. It might have been just a co-worker or a friend. But you ought to praise God that that person was put in your life. Amen. I, I believe that these magi, I believe that.